As always, the best way to understand anything as in programming is via an example. So when we look at File.io, let's take a look at this particular example. Develop an application that allows users to sign an electronic petition by entering their name and clicking the submit button. When the button is pressed, the user's name should be saved to a file called petition.txt. When the name is written, a confirmation message should be printed to the user. So if we consider this problem for a minute, we want to have a user interface that allows the user to enter their name and we'll need a button then that takes the text from the text field and then writes it to a file. So we've seen in previous examples how we grab the text from a text field and store it in a string, but the file handling piece is going to be the piece that's new. So the file output steps are as follows. Identify or create a file with the correct name. Create a character stream to use to send the data to the file. So you'll remember we don't want to use byte streams if we can avoid it. We don't want to be looking at that low level of data. Okay, we're not quite on the level of um, line I.O. at the moment, but we are going to take a word or a name and write that to a file. So a character stream is a, is a good place to start. Create a buffered stream then, which enables sending of the data more than one character at a time. Okay, and that's going to be our line. And then send the data to the file and close the buffered stream. Okay, so the character data would allow us to send one letter at a time. Buffered stream is going to allow us to send the entire line of text, which is one person's name. Okay, and we need to make sure that we open and close the stream at the right times. So now let's write the code for the submit button. We'll take a look at um, an example in NetBeans. So here you'll see I've prepared a, an application in NetBeans, a project, file IO with text, and I've called the app class petition app, and I have a GUI class with a text field, a label saying enter your name, and a submit signature button. So first things first, in the app class we need to remember create an instance of our GUI so petition GUI my GUI equals new petition GUI my GUI dot set visible true okay and that simply means that when we hit the play button NetBeans looks to our app class, which has our main method and does whatever it says to do, which is simply make our interface visible. You'll see at the moment, it's not doing anything in particular. So let's put some code behind the button. So when we double click our submit signature button, it automatically generates a submit button action performed method. And in here is where we're going to do our file handling code. So our first step was identify or create a file with the, t with the correct file name. That's our first file handling step. Okay. So file, out file. So we're making an instance of the file class called out file. Okay. Then we're going to create a character stream which can be used to send the data to the file. And the, fi the character stream is file writer and I'll just call it FW. And then we need to get a buffered stream which allow us to send the entire name in one go. So buffered writer BW. So we're going to need to use all three instances, those different classes. And you'll see here I have errors coming up. Cannot find symbol class file, cannot find symbol class file writer, or buffered writer. So if we right click and fix our imports, you'll see then at the top of the class, we've imported java.io.bufferedwriter, file and file writer. So those are my three um, objects that I'm going to need, out file, fw and bw. I'm also going to need, when I grab the text from the text field, I'm going to need a string for the name. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab that now from the text field. Okay, so we grab the text from the text field and store it in name. And then we go ahead and we create each of the objects that we want to use. So out file, 
equals new file. And here what we do is we give the name of the file we would like the text to be written to. So we'll call it petition.txt. That's what the question asked for. Then we want to wrap that file in our file writer, which is our character stream. So fw equals new file writer. And in there we put out file. Okay, so our file that we've just created up here comes down in here. Now, we'll come back to that. There is an error, but we'll come back to that in a moment. And then we create bw is a new instance of buffered writer. And into that we pass our file writer. Okay, so our character stream. So our character stream is encased in our buffered stream and our um, file is encased in our character stream. And that then, the file on the very basic level just contains the name of the text file we want to write the data to. Then we simply tell, send the data to the file, so bw.write is the method, and inside there then we put name, which is the text that we grabbed from the text field. You'll see we have another error there, but again, we'll come back to that. And that is it. Oh, and then last thing to do is bw.close. So we close the buffered writer. Now this won't run currently because we do have some, some errors, but this is the bones of what you need if you're going to write text to a file. You need to declare your objects. You need to grab your text, obviously, that we want to write. You need to create all of your objects, you need to write your text to your file, and then close the buffered stream. And it's very important that you close the buffered stream. By closing that, then we close this and we close this. It all falls into each other, but it is important that we close the buffered stream at the end.